Bold and the Beautiful spoilers reveal that the latest developments surrounding Luna are keeping the audience glued to their eyes. The plot is becoming more and more tense and dramatic when Luna, who was accused of murder, suddenly fainted in prison. The events that followed revealed a series of dark, calculating secrets of hers, and this laid the foundation for, for a terrifying series of revenge actions. Luna has been in prison for quite a long time, facing cruel detention and accusations that she cannot deny. However, what is surprising is that during this time, Luna not only has to face pressure from the legal system, but also mental pain when feeling abandoned by her mother Poppy. This feeling seems to have pushed Luna into a dark corner of her mind, where thoughts of revenge begin to arise. When she fainted in prison, no one expected that this was the first step in a meticulous plan that Luna had prepared for a long time. Luna chose to starve herself for days, leaving her body weak and lifeless. This was not a rash act, but a cold and calculated decision. By weakening herself, Luna knew that there would come a time when the prison could no longer hold her and would be forced to take her to the hospital for special treatment. The exhaustion she feigned gave her the opportunity to escape the police more easily. This was proof that Luna was a calculating and intelligent woman willing to do anything to escape her current predicament. When Luna was taken to the hospital, many people thought she was on the verge of death, but the reality was far from what they thought. Luna, with her cruel and cunning nature, had prepared everything to take advantage of this moment. She knew very well that in the hospital, supervision would be much looser than in prison, and this was her golden opportunity to escape. With a mischievous glint in her eye and an unshakable determination, Luna waited for the right moment to take advantage of the police's carelessness to plan the perfect escape. Not only that, Luna's story was pushed to a new level when she revealed the relationship between her and her mother Poppy. Hatred exploded in Luna's heart when she thought that her mother had abandoned her in prison without saving her life. Luna felt cruelly betrayed, and this turned her into a cruel person who did not hesitate to take revenge. After escaping, Luna's first target was none other than Poppy. She would never forgive her mother's coldness, and the revenge she planned would not be just a simple hit. Luna would do everything to make Poppy feel the pain she had suffered all this time. The events surrounding Luna do not stop at escaping from the police, but also involve a series of revenge actions that are secretly being prepared. On the journey of searching, Luna knows that Poppy has left her old residence. Through the few clues and her own delicate analysis, Luna gradually guesses that Poppy may have moved in with her sister, Lee. This is not too difficult to guess, because Luna understands that Poppy will seek out the only relative she can trust and feel safe with. Not missing the opportunity, Luna went to Lee's apartment with an extremely sophisticated plan. Knowing that Poppy would be wary of any strangers, Luna disguised herself as a delivery person to be able to approach Poppy without arousing suspicion. Standing in front of the apartment door, Luna is cold and careful to completely hide all her emotions inside. She patiently waits for Poppy to open the door. When the door opened and Poppy stood before her, Luna showed no immediate signs of anger or hatred. But in an instant, everything changed. Luna quickly sprang into action. With a strong and decisive push, she covered Poppy's mouth, not giving her mother a chance to scream or react. Luna pushed Poppy into the apartment, slammed the door shut, and locked it so no one could interfere with the confrontation. Inside the apartment, the atmosphere became stifling and tense. Luna faced Poppy, but not to talk or beg for forgiveness. Instead, she vented all the anger and resentment that had accumulated for a long time. Luna questioned her mother about the betrayal and abandonment of her during the most painful and dark time of her life. Poppy could only remain silent unable to say anything to justify her actions. Poppy's silence only made Luna angrier. With cold and emotionless eyes, Luna did not hesitate to take the knife and stab straight at Poppy. The cold, unhesitating stabs ended Poppy's life. Blood splattered on the floor, and Luna stared blankly at her mother's body. This was the revenge she had been longing for all this time, and now it had become a reality. After completing this terrible act, Luna did not stay long. She quickly leaves the scene, knowing that it won't take long for the police to track her down. However, 
Luna also knows that time is of the essence. Every minute she has free is an opportunity to escape and disappear. Will the police catch her before she completely escapes? And what will happen when Lee returns home to find Poppy's dead body in her own apartment? Lee's shock and pain when faced with this truth will take the story to a new level, with many dramatic conflicts and mysteries waiting to be revealed. Luna has begun a chain of events with no return, and her fate remains unknown in the dramatic and chaotic world of the bold and the beautiful.